In this video, we will see how to resample raster data. For example, here grid size is 90 meter. If you want to convert it to 30 meter or 100 meter or 900 meter or any size, so in that case, we will use resampling tool. So, in Saga JS, you will find in geoprocessing grid, grid system, and resampling. So, we will click here. Select the grid system and select the object. Drag this raster to the right side and click OK. Now we can choose the cell size. This is the original cell size of 90 meter. Suppose we need 30 meter. So we can write here 30 meter. And then uh, in Saga JS we are having four downscaling methods. One is nearest neighbor. Then bilinear interpolation, bicubic spline interpolation, and B spline interpolation. So, what are these methods? You can consult any standard book or many papers are there. So, first we will go to the default method that B spline interpolation and click OK. So, it will be creating one new elevation that is of 30 meter resolution, and we can change the name here. Suppose B spline I'm writing here apply now you can see this in a new map so we will be comparing all these methods so again go to geoprocessing and now as we know in saga js if you are using one tool you can directly see in the bottom here so resampling again we will use the same tool and just change the method so suppose nearest neighbor we are taking click ok it has again created one here we can change the name as nn click apply double click here and open a new map again we will be taking other method by linear interpolation now click ok Change the name as suppose bilinear interpolation. Apply. Then the last one bicubic spline interpolation and click OK. Again, we will be changing the name bicubic spline. Right. Open it. So these are the four for adjusting these things. I will be closing this window. Now we can synchronize the maps. So take this as master and click on synchronize map extent. Now you will see wherever you are clicking on this master window, in all windows you will find the same area. Now you can see some area like this. See in the nearest neighbor you will find that both are same. It's only the resolution is changed and there is no change in elevation values. But if you go to B spline, see the resolution has changed but also the shapes are you can see that there is changes in the shape also. Similarly in this this also and in bilinear interpolation also. But always you will find that spline method will provide you more smoothness than other methods. So now you can save these very simple rasters. Suppose you want to save this B spline. Just right click here and save as And you can save it at sagagri.got and elevation B plan. Suppose you are naming it, so it will be saved. So, this is how we can resample rasters in Saga GIS. Thank you for watching.